Hey guys, welcome back to the Starkville YouTube channel. I'm going to do a little eBay video for you talking about vintage retro bowling bags. As you can see, I got five of them here in front of you. And I picked them all up over this past weekend, which is kind of surprising. I don't normally see this many of them, but they can be pretty good sellers. They're a slow seller, so it's not something you want to list as auction for like 99 cents or anything. Uh, you want to ask a little more for the price and li uh, list it as fixed price. Because you need to understand who the buyer is for these items. The buyer is not just some random schmo looking for a bowling bag. Your buyer is someone who's looking for a purple Brunswick with the chevron pattern. You know, it's a very specific person looking for a specific bowling bag that they want to have. So that's why you're not going to list it as an auction. You're not going to get as much for it. So a few things to consider when you're out looking at these... Uh, bowling bags is the brand is important so brands you're looking for are Brunswick, Don Carter Lanes, uh, AMF which you're not going to find well not many but Brunswick and Don Carter Lanes is really what you're going to be finding this one in the corner this is Gladding or something I don't even know that brand um, but if it's a cool design I'll still pick it up because we'll give it a shot, especially when they're really cheap. A lot of these I got for either $0.99 cents or $1.99. Another thing is bowling balls can be expensive. They can be worth a lot of money, but they're going to be heavy. They're going to be, they can be up to 16 pounds, the ball itself, um, and most of them are going to be worth nothing. So if you have, a lot of these are going to have the bowling ball in the bag at the store, but... I've never taken the bowling ball. I always just take it out of the bag, throw it off to the side, let them deal with it. Uh, it's not something I would mess with, but some of them, if you want to look up the brand name that's on the ball, it could be worth something. So a couple things to look at or to look for when picking out these bowling ball bags is the condition is extremely important because, like I said, it's not a huge buyer market. So you want to have the best condition one available of that specific bag. So if there was only three of these purple ones for sale, I want to have the best of the three, and I'm going to ask the most money for my third one or for my bag. So condition, and when you're looking at the condition, you just want to make sure it doesn't have any holes in it. A lot of these little scuffs will come out because this vinyl is pretty good about cleaning up. Uh, check the zipper. Make sure the zipper functions fully because that's probably the most common thing that will break on these. Uh, you might get rips near the handles, so you want to keep an eye on that. And then on the inside, there's a little basket that holds the ball. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can kind of see that wire basket in there. Sometimes it's plastic. The wire one, don't, don't worry about it. There's nothing going to be wrong with that. The plastic one, they can be broken sometimes. And... If it's broken, it makes it worth less. But if it's just plastic, but it's fine, it, it doesn't really affect the value. But the plastic ones have a tendency to get broken because you figure someone's been dropping a 16-pound ball on this thing and eventually the plastic gets weak and brittle and it just breaks. So another thing is the more vibrant colors are going to be worth more. Uh, this tan one is probably not worth a whole lot because it's not a desirable color, but it is Brunswick and it's in pretty decent shape in the way of the zipper working. Uh, it's got the metal basket so you don't have to worry about that being broken. And um, hopefully it'll clean up the few little marks it has on it. This purple one is going to be worth the most of all the ones I have in front of you because of the colors. It's a more rare one. It's harder to find. Uh, I'm going to show you guys towards the end of this video some sold listings of bags to give you kind of an idea of what some of them have actually sold for so remember this bag because one just like it uh, will be in those sold listings like I said this brand I don't know a whole lot about but it's got a really vibrant blue color oh I forgot something this purple one and I think I said it earlier but that pattern, that the way that stripe is, it's a chevron pattern, so you'll definitely want to use that as a keyword. So back to this one, it's got some nice vibrant colors. Clean it up a little bit. And uh, that blue just really stands out, so that makes it worth more. Because obviously if you had a choice between this tan looking thing and this blue one, most people want the blue one. Same thing with this one. Kind of gray, goes along with the 
the brown one. The shred one, it's older than these others, and uh, the red with the gold piping here makes it stand out. A little bit more vibrant looking. Brunswick. So that would be worth probably more along the lines with the pink and the purple or whatever the hell color that is. One over there. So. So now let's look at some sold listings and we'll talk about a few more things to look for. Okay guys, so I got the sold listings pulled up. You can see my search term was retro bowling ball bag. Uh, whenever creating your title for these, I would definitely include the word retro or vintage or both if you can. Um, keywords are going to be especially important if you have an off-brand because you're going to need to fill it with uh, the colors or the pattern or just other words that will attract attention. When you're selling a Brunswick, it's much easier because anyone who's ever bold knows what Brunswick is and they are very likely to use that as a search term. Uh, Don Carter Lanes is also very popular, but if you're something that you don't know the brand, you know, if it's not on there and there's no logo that you recognize, or if it's just an off-brand, then your other keywords are very important. So I would recommend going to my website, struggleville.net, the menu here, you can go to the eBay title optimizer. Here you can see I use retro bowling ball bag, and you can see all the different keywords that you may be interested in using to help you uh, sell your item. So let's look at these sold listings. You can see $20 plus shipping for a Brunswick, but pretty plain, just gray and black. Um, a pretty neutral color, so I guess that's good, but it's not uh, super desirable there. Um, here's AMF 33 and free shipping. Here's one with the chevron pattern, and it's brown, so eh, it's not the, you know, not the greatest, but 18 plus shipping is pretty good, especially if you were able to pick this up for like two or three dollars. Uh, we'll skip that. That's not what we're looking at here. Another Brunswick with the chevron pattern. 29.49 plus shipping. Um, actually, I've seen a lot of people do Brunswick and Don Carter together. I don't know if they were or at one. I don't know if they're the same company or whatever, but um, I've seen people, unless they're just keyword stuffing, uh, put those together a lot. Another AMF. You can see that they have some different designs that are more unique, and that's really what you're looking for is something that stands out a little bit and is uh, unique. Kind of baby blue and white, $49.99 free shipping, but a Brunswick. Uh, this $29.99, that's actually one that I sold, $29.99 plus shipping. You can see it's the same table I was just showing you earlier in the video. Um, Don Carter Lanes with the Chevron pattern. $24, well, best offer accepted, so we don't know exactly what it was. Another kind of cool stripe design. Uh, somewhere in here I know there's the purple one. You see, this person sold it with the ball, and that was a bad idea because obviously at $15, nobody was paying more for that bowling ball. But look, a 14-pound ball. So you just added 14 pounds to the shipping and you got absolutely nothing for it. You probably would have got twice as much for that bag if you didn't include the stupid ball. Even if you want to sell the ball, sell it separate from the bag. It's not the same buyer. Just because this person wants this bag doesn't mean they want this ball. You know, If you've never bowled before, one thing about the bowling balls is they're drilled for a specific person's hand. So if this person that bought this, this set here wanted to actually use that ball, it's like a 99% chance they would have those holes plugged and have it re-drilled for their own hand. They didn't want the damn ball. I'll tell you right now, all they wanted was the stupid bag, and you could have got twice as much if you didn't include the ball. Another AMF. This is a hard case one. I haven't sold any of the hard case ones just because it's much more difficult to ship. I mean, it's just bulkier. These bag ones kind of collapse down a little bit and they're really light. The hard case one's going to be a little heavier. And I just, I saw one at a thrift store the other day and didn't pick it up because the hard plastic was all scratched up pretty bad on it and it didn't look great. But uh, it's something worth investigating or worth looking up if you have it or if you see it at a store. Another one with the ball. You got a dollar out of it. So, I mean, so I said, you're not going to get a ton of traffic on bids. You don't really want to do it that way. 
$29.95 and free shipping, $29.99 plus shipping. You can see this is the exact same bag that I saw, I sold, and it's at the exact same price. So, another person wasting their money putting the ball in with it. It's garbage. Uh, we skipped this one. AMF. Obviously, you can see AMF's doing really good with theirs. They have really neat, I mean, their logo's kind of cool, but they also have some really neat striped patterns. Um, these are probably older than these, these, uh, these are more 80s here. And the AMF is probably an older bag. Here's the exact same one I showed you guys. Mine's not in as good a condition, but it might clean up to uh, that condition. And you can see they got 39 plus shipping on theirs, so that's a really good deal. They're including shoes, apparently, which I also would not do that. Nobody wants your damn used bowling shoes. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's a market for them, but if I did sell them, I would sell it separate than the bag because it's two different buyers. Uh, 22 and free shipping, 24 plus shipping. So you guys get the idea. Um, you don't want to do it as an auction. This was bad again. 8.99. That had to go priority mail at the two or three pound rate. I guarantee you that person lost money. 100 percent. They lost money selling that. So that was really cool. I like that. Another chevron pattern. That one's really plain. I'm kind of surprised. I guess these little Brunswick logos right there might add a little to it. <laughs> Never seen that. That's cool. I would have asked a lot more than $20 for that. I bet you could have gotten 50 if you tried. So yeah, there's some really cool ones out there. Another Chevron. Pretty basic. Only went for $5. Looks kind of like one that I got, but that one went for 30 so you're just looking for the right buyer, you know. You might have to end up sitting on it for a while. My gray one I sold, sold pretty quick. Oh, well, that's cool. Schlitz. I've never seen that one either. Anyway, guys. Bowling ball bags can be really good. Uh, like I said, they can be slow sellers, so I wouldn't pay like $10 for a bag or anything. But if you can get it for 3 or 4 bucks, I saw some of these I got for, uh, for $0.99, cents, so that was a really good deal. So make sure to give the video a like. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. Whether you're a subscriber or not, make sure you click the bell. Or, if, you know, if you were already, I mean, previously a subscriber or not. Anyway, click the bell. Make sure you're a super subscriber. That way you actually get notified when I put up a new video. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, be back shortly with another video.